hello hello beautiful Aries welcome back to the channel happy July 4th to you all I'm gonna do um, energy general read for Aries July 7th to 14th the reads are timeless it can vary it could be past present future roles reverse male female energies can be interchangeable and I'm gonna start out with some tea leaves now usually i scramble these cards all over the place and pick up on the energies and i'm going to just try shuffling them and see what we come up with aries spirit what are the messages for aries july 7th through 14th and no i can set my intentions for those dates but like i said they're timeless spirit will reveal what is to be revealed so aries messages spirit for july 7th to 14th what are the messages for aries july 7th through 14th well what is this one oh my goodness guaranteed success the star aries way to go i like it what's going on hard work ahead but you have guaranteed success Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So whatever you've been putting your work into is going to pay off. You're a star. You'll have success. <laughs> Firecracker, well, that's July 4th. Maybe you're going to see some fireworks. But this is with business. This is some sort of success. Wow. Beautiful energy. Aries, what's going on for Aries? What are the messages? for Aries. I almost want to stop there. <laughs> Aries, what's going on? What's this success for Aries about? Lots of messages. We'll take them. Well, well, you're not going to like this at all, Aries. Wealth. <laughs> success. <laughs> I can't make it up. Excitement. Firecracker. Hard work pays off a solid foundation success with the effort so you're gonna have to work at this but whatever this is you're getting over that mountain obstacles challenges something will not always be this way if it's a difficult time there's been a broken promise in a broken ring a parting of the ways in either romance or business. But I'm telling you right now, I can't get a more positive read. I should stop the read right there. Success assured with good plans and hard work. It's all about success and wealth. Should we leave it there? I'm almost like, okay, good. I'll take it. Claim it, Aries. It's wonderful. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. Solid foundation. Success with this hard work. Guaranteed success of star, wealth, firecracker, and the egg. Success assured with... Well, you know what? Look what you've been through. You had to climb a mountain. Like, it didn't come easy, Aries. There was a parting of the ways that you had to go through, face all these challenges, these obstacles. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming, but what a reward at the end of that hard work. I almost want to leave it there. I don't think I could get a better message. We'll just focus in on this. One, two, three, four, five. Five success star cards after a hard period. Hard work, dedication, hard work pays off. Just saying. You the firecracker, you the star. It's your hard work paying off for you. It's wealth, it's guaranteed success, excitement, firecracker, success. Hello, all due to hard work. 
I want to leave it there. I should just end the read. There you go, Aries. Aries. Don't ever let it be said that it didn't, you know, it came easy to you. This did not come easy to you. It was dedication, hard, hard work, major mountains to climb. <laughs> Ah, Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connections, trust your inner voice. It's like you're mastering something here. Learning. Mercury, open communications. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard mm. one more Aries well you know I've, I'm not good with astrology and astronomy and all that but it is Mercury now I forget what Mercury is is that the warrior Master Jesus, forgiveness. You were on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father, healing is possible at this time. You're learning something. You're learning how to communicate. You're learning from the master. Okay? Or it's just trusting your inner voice. Open communications. Get a weight off your chest. If something's been bothering you, get it off your chest. You're on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Healing is possible at this time. You got the two masters here. What else can you ask for? If you got Master Buddha here teaching, and you have... Master Jesus here with open communication in the middle that should give you a clue right wow Aries please 7th through the 14th Somebody is asking why. But in this card, it's learning why. The book is right there. Opening it. Discovering why. Getting answers. Or maybe somebody's just, you know, you're asking why. You're being taught why. This is all these challenges that you've been through. And you could be just asking yourself, why? Well, at the end of the day, whatever you've learned is paying off. Dedicated hard work is paying off. Guaranteed success. Remaining poised in composure. You know, there's something bothering you. And it's like an energy like I'm gonna say combative it's like health symbol of health here and it's remaining poised something bothering you internally you need to get it off your chest it could affect your health or has Affected your health somehow, but don't keep it in. Get it out. Remain poised in composure. But that's the symbol of health. 
and this is remaining poised. So it's something you got to get off your chest. Yeah. It's time. It's time. Tick tock. Time to get something off your chest. It's something to do with an unfinished symphony. It's like it's not over or that. Something needs completed. An unfinished symphony. If there's some type of like, it's not over, something isn't over, something is not completed here, forgiveness is needed. You've got to get something off your chest. It's time to get something off your chest so that you can heal. It's like staying poised though, having to stay calm, poised, in control. Hmm. Yeah, because it's keeping you like at the land in between. It could be affecting uh, your health or affecting a decision it's like transitioning from all this hardship to all this success there's some somebody you need to get something off your chest or it's going to keep you stuck something that was not finished an unfinished symphony you need it is time to get something off your chest because you're trying to remain poised you're trying to re but there's something unfinished business you need to get off your chest so that you can heal because right now you go back and forth it's keeping you like in between worlds it's like one day you feel this and the next day you feel that one day you feel depressed the next day you feel happy vibrant and you keep going back and forth and it's making you like affecting your balance you need to get something off your chest just saying Time to let something go. Chop wood. It's time to let something go. Some unfinished business that needs taken care of. It is time to take care of that unfinished business. Mm-hmm. Whatever that is. It's just like it's time to release it. It's time to get it off your chest. Because it's affecting your... It's affecting your emotions. It's affecting your poise, your composure. It's keeping you off balanced. Mm. And it's, it's like you go in between depression to being really, really vibrant. That's what it is. It's unfinished symphony. An unfinished. It's time to let something go. Chop wood. 
or maybe you did chop wood remove something from your life and now it's like something feels incomplete but it is about forgiveness Aries excuse me when I do that I'm not trying to weird you out or nothing it's just that I'm hearing messages and it's like I feel the vibe the energy my hands are like tingling it's a strong strong energy Communicate. Getting something off your chest. Messages. Communications. Laying down the burdens. This has been... You know what? It's like... You faced a lot of hardships. A lot of obstacles and challenges. It's like mountains. Exhaustion here. It's a, to do with investments. It's to do with planting seeds. You could be intuitive, you know. This is listening to your, um, your guides. This is listening to your higher intuition. Judgment, making a decision. It could have been someone got abandoned or left out in the cold, and it's been a struggle ever since. Well, you're guaranteed success here. about choices, decisions. It's also thinking, thinking, thinking. Hmm. Somebody is in between worlds and that's what probably indecisive, denial, Not wanting to see something. Hearing like chatter. Going solo, being the hermit, going within, soul searching. This is also depression. Feeling confused. But it shows you stable. The King of Pentacles. Staying grounded, staying stable, financial security. Financial investments. And it's like going from depression to stable. It's about balance, staying balanced, staying poised. Looks like the devil is here. This could be obsessive thoughts.
indecisiveness, denial, not wanting to face something or see something, so you go within. It could be like overworking. It could be like focusing too much on one area instead of another. You could be working too hard. Hmm. It's like feeling burdened, weighted down. Taking control and moving forward. Wanting justice or again, it's about balance, making things fair, making things right. Well, when the justice appears, it's usually because something was unjust in the past. And now I see that you're just taking, but again, it's yin and yang. Balancing, keeping poised. You need to get something off your chest. It's messing with your energy. It's like going from night to day, day to night. It's like it could be keeping you off balance. Whatever it is you need to get off your chest. Once you do this, it'll give you more balance. It will help you... To stay more in control. Mm. And happy. You'll have a happy outcome. You've got all this success. You have all this stardom. You have all that. But you're feeling lonely at the same time. And it's thoughts, obsessive thoughts, keeping you trapped in your mind somehow. Things you're telling yourself, you need to get something facing your fears. And getting something off your chest is going to give you more balance. It's time to get something off your chest because it's confusing you and it's keeping you in this mental could be going from like depression to happiness it's like yep gotta communicate could be that you're afraid to communicate could be that you're afraid to get something off your chest. It could be of that you are in communications but struggle with like it's something here that you have a lot of growth, you have a lot of development, nurturing, giving birth to something that you worked so hard for that took a long time coming you finally get there your happiness but at the same time you're feeling lonely you're co-creating partnerships alliances teamwork At this time, I think you're co-creating with the universe. There's too many spiritual gifts here, too many messages, downloads, things that keep you thinking all the time.
Hmm. Well, it's Queen of Pentacles. We have a King and a Queen of Pentacles here. But there's like financial stability. That's power couple working together. Hmm. Balancing again, male and female energy as well. If you're not dealing in a romantic situation, If you are dealing with a romantic situation, you could already be in this happy, uh, some forgiveness needing to happen here. Someone wants to communicate, wants to make things right, wants to work with you. This is power couple energies. It's almost like we could have had it all. It's a soulmate. It's time to get something off your chest. It's almost like it's all about balance. Getting something off your chest to someone you feel is a soulmate or it is about wow it's been a long time coming but it's getting to the finish line somebody may have walked away but is feeling divinely guided. This is stardom. It's like healing. The healing light could take place at this time. It is time to love and forgive. A soulmate connection. Somebody needs to get something off their chest. Forgiveness is possible at this time. And then things will move forward, come out. Being led. Just saying it's good news for some. A light-hearted energy, a go-getter, just feeling it'll relieve a burden. Put it that way. Whatever communication needs to take place, somebody gets something off their chest, somebody may need forgiveness or is seeking forgiveness, whatever this does lightens the load. It's a light-hearted energy after that. It's good news. Being open to receive love. This is Oh my God, it is a divine union. That's Aries energy, feeling stable. But there's something missing here. This person is willing to listen. It's 
the sword is laying down on the ground face the op it's there in hand in case you need it but this person is listening the sword isn't drawn it's time to lay down the swords have a light-hearted energy be light-hearted there's a divine union here emperor empress energy king and queen of pentacles It's like being open to receive love. Time for healing. Somebody needs to get something off their chest because they're stuck in between depression and happiness. Keep going back and forth until this is off the chest. It'll lighten your load. It'll make you feel better. It's like very light-hearted. A conversation mm. ten of cups <laughs> and romance mm -hmm. a romantic offer that makes you like woohoo lighthearted yes this person is listening willing to listen Yep. Crying over spilt milk. Spilling out the cups. Didn't see what they had. Learning. Something has been illuminated. Someone's watching. It's learning. The light bulbs are lit. Wish fulfillment. That's why the struggle is here between sadness, depression, and happiness, and going back and forth, back and forth energy. It's like there's a divine union here that someone, it is time to speak. The other one got to listen. There is a time for forgiveness here, and it looks as though somebody needs to express themselves because it's keeping them off balance. It's success, it's wealth, it's having it all. You need to get something off your chest. Somebody is willing to listen and somebody is willing to forgive. There's a coming together for many divine unions that's a power couple. It's fab, fantastic energy. It's wish fulfillment. It will fulfill your wishes. It's an unfinished symphony. After heartbreak. Somebody needs to take action. Things came to an end, a painful ending only for something new to begin there's fond memories here this is the past someone wants to take action but there's fear of rejection but somebody still is holding on that's why the back and forth energy Got to lighten it up. Knight of Wands. Passionate message. Somebody wants to make things balanced. Guaranteed success. It's here. Somebody's stuck. Mentally confused. Somebody is like single. Stable.
but yet the other person sees the happiness and the stability over here. Whatever's going on here, I know it's to do with finances. If you're single, it's financial. If it's divine unions coming back, it's a guaranteed success. If someone listens and someone forgives, you both are holding on to one another. You're both calling each other in. It's an unfinished symphony. It's a guaranteed success. If people would only get something off their chest, get the courage and strength up to take the leap. Mm -hmm. Make it the offer. Do you want to go for coffee? Want to go do something? Head over heart decision. Jesus, do I think with my head or do I think with my heart? But it's going to keep tugging at you and tugging at you and tugging at you until you get it off your chest. You're resilient. You're the wounded warrior, but those are wands. The torch is lit. Looking back, waiting for their ships to come in. Somebody got to make a move here. The torches are lit. It's an unfinished symphony. Somebody's still holding their torch. You're each looking out. Look, this person's looking out and this person's looking out. And there's still passion on both sides. This one's looking back. This one's looking out the same direction. <laughs> Somebody needs to reach out. Lighthearted energy. Vibing high. Passionate. Go-getter. Oh my God, and there it is. King and Queen of, of uh, Pentacles. King and Queen of Wands. Emperor, Empress. Never let go. Might be apart, but the cord is still attached. <laughs> oh yes. Someone who's like goes sneaking away. Or is strategizing. How to communicate. Obstacles, challenges. You'll get over it. <laughs> it's success. Guaranteed. Single, it's guaranteed financial success. If it's this divine union, which there are several here, it's time to get something off your chest and come back together. Because it's an unfinished business here. It's not over. Just saying, somebody needs to make a move. Take care.